Hello everybody, Jess Nikki here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Sims 4 mods and CCs. So a long time ago, uh, and I'm so sorry that I'm just now getting around to doing this, but someone in one of my, well, two of my videos, they were like, can you make a video showing how to install mods into the Sims 4? And I was just like, yeah, I'll do that. Um, and then I just kind of forgot about it. So I'm going to show you exactly where to start with it. Now I've made, um, a video of me CC shopping in the past and I will put a little eye at the top so you can go check that out. Check this video out first and then go there, but you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, in there, I kind of briefly show how to move in mods and, um, also in my Wicked Whims video as well, the first one, uh, I show you guys how to, um, install it, but it's really, really quick. It's not in depth as it should be. So that's what this video is going to be. Um, first, before you get started doing this, the first very important thing you need when you download CC is WinWire. If you don't know what WinWire is, it is basically just a uh, file extractor. That's all it is. So sometimes when you download certain uh, files, they come in either a zip file or they come in a RAR file. That is when WinWire comes in. WinWire is what helps extract those files so that you know you can get whatever you need. Now I'm going to be showing you guys the different files and everything. Uh, but before we even get into files, I need to show you guys how to get to your Sims 4 mod folder. So first off, what you're going to want to do is go to documents. Documents is where you go to look for your Sims 4 mod folder. In your documents, there should be a folder called Electronic Arts. You're gonna double click it. When you double click it, it should show you this. Now I have The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, but we're gonna be focusing on The Sims 4. So you double click on The Sims 4 folder, and then it should take you inside that folder and you should see something called mods. This folder should already be in your Sims 4 uh, folder. But if it's not, you can just simply make one. So you just right click, go to new, and then go to folder, and then there you go. Um, now let's go into my mods folder. Now, when you go in it, it's obviously going to be empty. Uh, mine's is not, but the one file that you should see in there the file that you should have in your Sims 4 mods folder should be this. It should say resource.cfg. If you do not have this in your mods folder, then you can go and download it. Um, now, I'm not sure of the whole spiel you have to go through to even get this resource.cfg file, but I'm pretty sure you just download it like a normal package. Um, but I mean, if you want more information on that, you can just look it up on YouTube or you can Google it because I have no idea. So if you have this file in there, you're pretty much good to go. You can go and search for some CC or mods. So the, the, the one place I love going to go CC shopping is called simstum.com and I will be putting links to everything I'm talking about in the description box below. Um, now, here's a dress that I found that is really cool. As you can see, I've already downloaded these at the bottom, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to actually download it. So once you click on a product or a CC that you like, you just scroll down and you should see something that says download. Now, it doesn't say that anymore because I already downloaded it, but if I refresh, you'll see it says download. And when you click it, it should just simply show up in your downloads folder. And that's it. Now, there's a few things that we need to talk about. Um, 
Um, on these sites, sometimes it won't be that easy to just download a product. Some people will send you um, to their website and then through something called AdFly, where it sits you on the screen and it makes you wait five seconds before you can get their uh, before you can get their CC. Um, and sometimes that can be annoying, but some people do that just so that they could get um, payment for their CC, um, where you don't have to pay anything. You just you know sit there for five seconds and they get like I don't know. 10 cents for for each person that has that ad or whatever i don't know the extensiveness that goes into it but um yeah so um using adfly isn't really that difficult all you have to do is just wait the seconds and then it says skip ad you click it and then it will send you either back here or to simsdom or it'll send you to something called sims file share um, and if you guys want to see that, I showed that in my CC, sh uh, CC shopping video, and I will put that in the eye, of course, so you can see it. When you download a package, all you have to do is click this arrow here, and then click show in folder. And then you want to bring up your Sims 4 mod folder. And then all you have to do if it's just a single package is click it and drag it into the Sims 4 mods folder. Now I already have that CC in there, so I'm just gonna say skip the file and I'm gonna delete it. But let's talk about uh, zip files. So someone like Simplicity, they always use, uh, they always, all of their CC comes in a zip file um so you nine times out of ten always have to use one wire when extracting their cc all you have to do is double click it and then it should bring you here so this is the WinWar extractor here and all you do is you just you click on the package and then you click extract to and then you go to documents electronic arts sims 4 and then the mods folder and then you hit okay now of course it's going to tell me that the file already exists so i'm just going to say no but that's basically it that's all you have to do um so let's talk about recolors recolors are um say this skirt here a recolor would be somebody making additional colors to this mesh without using the mesh the mesh means take away you know the black the leather and all this and just think of that skirt as a solid object now think about that object somebody you know um creating a sleeve for it and then putting it over that object that is what a recolor is when people make recolors to certain objects, that's totally fine. I've made recolors before, and I might uh, make a tutorial on showing people how to make your own recolors. But the creator of that specific mesh, so say this skirt, they usually won't allow you to re-put their original mesh back out there. So people like to make recolors for that specific mesh. But in order for you to see the recolors to that specific mesh, you have to have the original mesh first, if that makes sense. So if I made a recolor to the skirt, but you didn't have the skirt and you tested it out in game, it would look like a broken CC. All right. So for example, this is a Leah Lilith hair and you can download this if you guys are interested in this random hair. This is just one I just Googled. But if you guys are interested in this, I will also leave a link to this in the description box below. But this is a hair made by Leah Lilith. This is an original mesh by her. Every, like, the hair, the colors, and everything were all made by her. Now, a recolor to this, an example would be this. So, this is a recolor to this hair. This recolor will not work unless you have this hair. So, you'd have to download this Leah Lilith hair and then the recolor. Recolors only change the color of the mesh. 
okay so if you have a cc in your game that's not working it's either a recolor for a mesh you don't have or it's just broken uh so keep that in mind when you are looking for um things like that but um yeah i mean that's pretty much it guys well yeah guys so that is about it i hope this video helps you guys and i hope you guys enjoy cc shopping i am uh i will admit i am fucking addicted to it my whole mods folder is about 15 gigabytes so <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot of space being taken up by cc but hopefully this video helped you guys and of course if you guys have any questions or if something's not working for you i will try and answer them to the best of my ability so this has been it for the tutorial if you guys want more tutorials on anything else um l let me know as well and i'll try and make those for you if you like this video go ahead and leave me a like if you're new to the channel or you happen to stumble across it go ahead and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video Bye, guys.